Hello, in this short video, I will derive the expression for sequential variation estimation of the posterior density of an unknown parameter theta. So consider the data set dn, which has n data points x1 to xn. The key difference in sequential estimation is this the value of n that is the number of data points is not fixed. It basically increases sequentially. And one of the goals of sequential estimation is to find where to stop the estimation process. That is, what is the optimal value of n. In this discussion, we will just derive the expression for the posterior density, the sequential expression for the posterior density of theta. So, so given the data set dn and the unknown parameter theta, the information we already have is that the prior density of theta is given by p0 of theta and the likelihood density of a the data points is given by x k p of x k given theta. So from so from Bayesian estimation theory and Bayesian parameter Bayesian decision theory, we know that the posterior density, the batch formula for the posterior density p of theta given d n, is given by the Bayes rule. That is, the numerator is given by the product of p naught theta multiplied by the total likelihood function divided by divided by integral of this numerator that is integral p naught theta p of d n given theta d theta. So, we know the batch formula for the posterior density. So, now the goal is to derive a sequential formula that is sequential expression for this posterior density. That is in, in, in a sense we are trying to find a expression that that requires only the previous posterior density or the current prior density and the current data point. Now basically we want to convert this posterior density into a function that has only these two values that is the posterior density, the prior density of theta at the current point that is at the current data point and also the likelihood density of the current data point. So this can be achieved as follows. Now first let us define the overall likelihood density function that is p of d n given theta is equal to k equal to 1 the product k equal to 1 to n p of x k given theta and this is actually valid only when these x k's are independently drawn from the original distribution then only its overall density that is the total density is equal to product of individual density. Now by putting the value n equal to n minus 1 in the original batch formula or batch expression we have p of theta given d n minus 1 equals p naught of theta product k equal to 1 to n minus 1 p of x k given theta this is the likelihood for the n minus 1 data points and the denominator is integral over this function that is the numerator k equal to 1 to n minus 1 p of x k given theta d theta. Basically we can rewrite the batch formula as p naught of theta and the product k equal to 1 to n minus 1 p of x k given theta and separating the latest the likelihood of the latest data points. If you see the overall likelihood density function can be broken down into product of two factors. The first one is the likelihood up to n minus 1 points and the likelihood of the latest point. And we also have the initial prior. And the denominator is again p naught theta denominator is also factorized similarly. Now by now by dividing a, the both the numerator and denominator with the denominator of this first expression by now by dividing the numerator and denominator of the second expression with the denominator of the first expression that is the evidence in the uh, in this posterior density we get the following expression which is basically p naught of theta integral I mean product k equal to 1 to n minus 1 p of x k given theta divided by 
integral over this value that is p naught theta product k equal to 1 to n minus 1 p of x k given theta d theta multiplied by p of x n given theta divided by you also have the same thing in the denominator that is integral p naught of theta product k equal to 1 to n minus 1 p x k theta p x k given theta divided by its integral basically p naught of theta product p of x k given theta k equal to 1 to n minus 1 d theta and then we have p of x n given theta so if you look at if you look at this fraction this is basically the prior density at n minus 1 that is the posterior density the prior density at n that is posterior density at n minus 1 points so now we can rewrite the posterior density p of theta given dn as p of theta given dn minus 1 multiplied by the current likelihood function that is p x n given theta that is the likelihood of the latest point divided by p of theta given dn minus 1 that is the current prior multiplied by the latest likelihood that is the evidence this basically this denominator is the evidence and this is the joint density thus we derive the expression for sequential variation estimation the probability density p of theta given dn as a function of probability of theta given dn minus 1 that is the current prior density or the posterior density from n minus 1 points and the likelihood of the latest measurement or latest data point so these are the only two things we need to know thus this is a sequential estimation process and we don't have to remember the probabilities or the likelihoods of all the previous measurements Thanks for watching.